Hello everyone, I'm Renal Zero. We are back again talking about the tractors once again because even while Ripperverse employees and Ripperverse fans are out enjoying themselves at MegaCon this weekend, it would seem that people are still finding time to put out their feelings, their opinions, and want to show just exactly how miserable they are and want to put it out there that because other people are having fun, they're still going to find ways to continue to make fun of people that they don't like. It's so weird that even for a day, even for a few hours, that these weirdos just cannot shut up. They just cannot shut up, stop crying about everything, stop crying about other people having fun and liking stuff that they don't like. We get it. You guys are miserable. You have no women in your life. You have nothing going on of value. So this is how you show what little value you have. You go around just commenting on stuff that doesn't really affect you. You go around commenting on things that don't really matter to you. And you go around showing just exactly, again, how miserable you actually are in your life. Also, I got put into a meme with some very special people for saying a very heinous thing that we'll get into right away. And you'll find out exactly what everyone's saying. In regards to the people I'm talking about. Of course you can go to the Riververse store and buy your merchandise. You have Blade Devil 2 as always. I will be promoting this book up until the point when it comes out. And then I'll start promoting Blade Devil 3. Because I'm sure I'm going to enjoy Blade Devil 2. Because I loved Blade Devil 1. Four different covers to choose from. Cover A, cover B, cover C, and cover D will be the limited summer wraparound edition. Of course this, these are just some pages from the book. Right here. You'll get 69 pages of story, two supplemental stories, of course, and you'll get a closer look at the covers, cover A, cover B, cover C, and what I like to call cover D. If you want to get on Blade Devil 1, here you can go right over here to Sick Fox Studios Unlimited and pick up your copy of Blade Devil 1. We have Black Rhapsody. I believe this is currently shipping. They just sent out all the digital PDFs for this book. So you can get in on this if this is something you like. It's something personally I'm backing. I have already backed. Can't wait to read it. Super Plumber Sisters. I've gotten this. This is part one and two. This is actually the, two, the number two campaign. But you can get part one and part two if you want to get a catch-up pack. If you choose to get this, this is from Tyler. You can also get a bunch of his other books, which I did get The Girl with the Mega Fist number one. As well as Super Plumber Sisters number two. This is actually the most recent campaign I backed called Relentlessly Bullied Hero Number 1. Again, I'm into these big manga style. I, I believe this book is about 95% completed. And I believe it'll be shipped out once the Kickstarter fulfills. If it fulfills, if you're interested in a book like this, get in on it while you can. So, here we go, guys. I've made it. I'm as popular as the big league YouTubers. I've absolutely made it now. I am considered a Miles Morales hater simply for saying that Miles Morales is Miles Morales and Peter Parker is Spider-Man. I've been put up here in this terrible, terrible meme with, of course, Hill vs. Babyface, Melanie Mack, and Gary from Neurotic, which I'm going to go show this to Neurotic. It's going to be hilarious when he sees this. And it's absolutely crazy that they always use the worst possible photo that they can use. I find it absolutely funny that I'm up here with these guys because they're all awesome people, which I said right here that they're all awesome people. And Melanie Mack actually liked this tweet, which is hilarious to me. Or should I say great? Moving on over, like I said, Cell Shade right here. He does follow me on Twitter. Shout out. Did put my name out there. Project Egg Roll. I think he's... Pretty sure he's been on Friday Night Tights or what's the other one? The Side Scrolls podcast. They put all my stuff out. Eric McDonald saying he just started following me last week. Shout out. Seems like a good dude. We got Eric saying I'm awesome and appreciates the hell out of me, which is crazy. Yeah, suck it, haters. I don't really care. Say whatever you want about me. It's always cool when your favorite creators talk nicely about you. And we have Chris Bacon, of course. The obsessed weirdo who wants to give you a daily reminder to the Ripperverse and the fans what you continue to condone spicy content and other spicy content in horror films. 
Wow, shocking. You might just win low cal of the year with this post. Oh no, a spicy video and horror movie. How incriminating. I'm sure this won't help Yaira sales at all. So wow, the Sasuke sisters are having fun, enjoying themselves, meeting Ripperverse fans. You're crying on the internet, being a miserable little schmuck. And showing everyone in the world how miserable you are. We also have Jay Bama, who has to chime in, as always, for some reason, because he just has to, you know, do what Daddy Frogman tells him to do, right? I'd like to say that I do what Eric does, or I'm getting paid by Eric to play defense, which did happen. There is a tweet that someone said, am I getting paid to make, you know, videos in defense of Eric? No, I'm not getting paid. Although, it would be funny right now to play the clip where he says, where, where am I get, gonna, when am I going to get my check, though? But he says, did you sign it in blood? Because that's so fantastic for you to say. Again, another miserable dude crying on the internet because a fan wants a writer of the character shown on the poster to sign their poster. You are a miserable schmuck. And you pay super chats just to get try to get on the panel with Frogman himself. And he's, I don't know if you've gotten on there yet. Who knows? I said, why are you so obsessed with the black man? Seriously, why are you obsessed with Eric so much that even when he's out having fun with fans, you still find the need to talk about him? Mr. We want to like you, Eric. Remember that one? We want to like you, Eric. Shut up. Oh, look. Disturbing images. Disturbing images. From what? Cyberfrog. Cyberfrog in the 90s. Are they going to condone this? Are they going to condemn this at all? Are they going to condemn any of this stuff in a Cyberfrog book? Uh, no, they won't because it's rules for thee but not for me. Oh, and Bruce points it out. Shout out. Would this be considered a night letter in Ethan's eyes? It's Matt Bayer sending a text message. Let's check it out. Not to sound like a total D, but if you're going to stream with Patrick and Joe Ball, I'm going to need you to leave the Discord. F those guys. So once again, trying to pull in people. I think it's Patrick Thomas. or Yeah, I think it's Patrick Thomas. And Joe Ball. Joe Ball, the guy that wants nothing to do with your weird drama that you have between you, you know, Frogman and, and Eric July, which it's a one-sided beef. It's only coming from one side because, again, Eric is out enjoying himself at Megacon with fans of his art, fans of his work, I should say, right? Fans of his universe. And you're over here talking about him rather than Frogman finishing his books. Because Rainbow the Brute, six years old apparently, six years late, Snowman's nowhere to be found. Hashtag when is Snowman? Hashtag when is Rainbow the Brute? And as soon it'll be hashtag when is Cyberfrog 3? So, this person, of course, is another one of these people that tend to obsess about me making videos. They may, I make videos defending Eric, such a terrible thing, but a grown-ass man can spend four to six hours, 14 days in a row, crying about said, gro said other grown man. But if I make a video or multiple videos defending him, oh, I, I'm the terrible one. Right? I'm the terrible one. Because there, there was, again, a screenshot of a bunch of thumbnails. And I said only one out of six in a week did I make a video about Air July. Now, nah, and you and all the weirdos and my great fans and supporters only have to wait until later today to get a video. And it will be a great one. This will be that video. Eric is in the Sasuke Sisters thumbnail. There's another Eric video at the very bottom. Can't really see the release date, but I assume it's seven days. Maybe I'm wrong. I said it's called the likelihood of the videos being clicked on with the Sasuke video. Doesn't have anything to do with Eric. You sound like a thumbnail reactor, which is a person that just reads a thumbnail or sees a thumbnail and they just react to it. They've never actually watched the video. They never listened to what I actually said. And they just sit up here and react and cry about it, which is what a lot of people did, including Frogman himself of Eric's thumbnail that said crowdfunding. He never actually watched the video which would tell you that Eric is not against crowdfunding. And he says, of course, cool, I can't wait to not watch it. And I said, cool, I don't care if you do or not. None of my business what you do with your time. 
I took that crap to Urban Dictionary. It's not a real term anywhere outside of your use. But I don't expect you to know you two speak. You're not a YouTuber. You're just a hobbyist with an ego. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm going to hit like that right there. I'm a YouTuber, not a crack smoker like you. I don't have an ego. I'd be in the predicament of certain YouTubers destroying their brand who created a cybernetic frog. That's where I would be if I was, you know, I had an ego. I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. No matter how big my YouTube channel grows, I won't have an ego because people will not want to watch me. The point is to have people watching me. You should get a job, like an actual job, where you go somewhere and do perform and act. Do perform? Do or perform? Which one is it? You need to read a book. An activity in exchange for a wage. Then you can stop pretending to be a successful YouTuber and just make videos as a hobby. Who makes videos as... I, I understand people start as making YouTube videos, YouTube, YouTube videos as a hobby. But it could grow into something as in a second revenue stream. To which I say, only retarded people think I don't have a real job. I'm a successful YouTuber. I'm partnered and monetized. Over 1K subs, which is 10% of people on the site. It's always you hating MFers that ain't got shit going on trying to pull me down like a crab in a bucket. And this is almost daily that I get stuff like this. And I just laugh at them and I monetize them like I am now. You're not watching this video. Well, you're not going to realize you got monetized for being a moron. Here we go, Vito. Interesting to see the average Ripper first customer. I said, interesting to see the average super killer customer. Oh, wait. Hashtag when is super killer. You will never get support like that with the way you cry about everything. You cry about Eric all the time. And again, you are another one of those miserable people who spend your life crying about other people having fun. Rather than having your own type of fun and getting off the internet. It would probably help you. We have the great Graham Nolan as well. Basically destroying J. Bama fan. Absolutely ratioing him. And you just love to see it. It is absolutely fantastic to see. He says, if they leave it at the door, it doesn't matter. Telling a good story is all that matters. If I tell a good story, you shouldn't know I lean right. Like Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby's telling his stories. We never knew he leaned left. And I said, Graham Nolan here is 100% right. Jay Bama must be very butthurt that he doesn't agree with him. If you keep your politics out of the comic book, it's supposed to say comic book. I was typing it on the go. At the, you know, keep out of, at, at the forefront of the story. Keep your politics out of being at the forefront of the story. Who cares? <laughs> it's cool when Ethan does this type of thing, though, huh? I wonder what Cancel Clown Jay thinks of that. Oh, he probably thinks the same thing he always thinks. It's only it's only bad when Ripa does it. We also have Mr. Pancake Jeff himself, of course, putting this out saying, Relive the adventure that started it all. Here's the, here's the website where you can pirate the book. And then these people wonder why... They get DMCA'd, which I put more false DMCA claims, though. <laughs> it's so stupid. This person is a year a long time. Showing some something from the Chucky show, of course. And I'm just like, yeah, still no one cares. Nobody cares. This joke is really stupid. Right? The joke is the NDA, by the way. It's about the NDA and Andrew, because they wrote Andrew there. There's the Saskas at Megacon. Says the joke is really stupid. And I said, you're really stupid. You must be one of the most miserable people in life. You see people having fun and immediately have a comment. Just shut the fuck up. Like, holy fuck, dude. You are a miserable human being. Absolutely miserable human being. You responding, of course, you screenshot it because, of course, you're blocked. I'm not surprised you're blocked. You deserve to be blocked by Eric because you are a piece of garbage. Bro, you hired hashtag me too, trans kids feminist, to write your Christ-based Texas secession fantasy. Yeah, what did you write? Absolute dog shit. A book named, I'm not going to say it. 
and your best case scenario is that their deeply held personal values don't affect your creative work. What a stupid decision. Because, you know, I'm sure Chuck Dixon and, and Mike Barron are libertarians, right? I'm sure they're libertarians too. I already showed this, but, you know, still funny to look at. Still absolutely funny to look at. Let's scroll down. It's okay. Historically speaking, women are great at compartmentalizing their emotions slash beliefs from everything else. They're totally, they'll totally not let them bleed into their work. I'm pretty sure they won't because they didn't bleed into the Black Widow book. Didn't bleed into their Black Widow book, but you wouldn't know that because you probably never read it. Here's Ethan Ralph, mister. I farted on stream and denied it, and then Nick Ricada made fun of you, and you, you stopped being his friend because he made fun of you because you farted on stream because you couldn't own it. Oh, and you also got your ass beat on camera as well, you fat piece of dog shit. Says, God, he just keeps effing it up worse. This is, this is you most amazing work. Grammar. Spelling. Sir, even better than Maddox. What work? Eric is more successful than you. Eric is more successful than anybody that's in this Twitter thread. Eric probably has more money from his first ISOM campaign than Dick Masterson's ever seen in his entire life. So. Good. He, has, he hires talented people who think differently but share the company ethic to respect the customer. That used to be normal. Yes, it did used to be normal. Masterson, the newly minted SJW. Yes, the new can hashtag cancel pig. First comes the love bombing. His superhero cops are more like the boys or the authority that were massive ducks and anti heroes, even bad guys. Did you, did you see anyone? I can tell you right now, you didn't read this book because there was not a single person who was part of Alpha Core that deleted anyone. You dummy. Another straw man from Air July. No one is arguing you shouldn't work with people who don't agree with you politically, but SJWs are a different breed. They're not SJWs. You're a dumbass. I remember when he used to be in favor of gatekeeping them from his company and our hobbies. Yeah, he, he did. Because they're not. The feminist takeover of the Ripper versus is already complete. Wokeness has won. Dude, whim having women does not mean wokeness, you idiot. Like, these people legitimately believe that if you hire women, your book's going to be woke or everything's going to be woke. It, your, your company's woke because you have women in it. You're a these people are stupid. These people are, le are legitimately stupid. Stupid, low IQ, brain lit individuals. Blood Roof coming soon. Hasn't been announced. And Yaira 2. And in Isom 3, Isom will d get deleted. And his sister will take over. So exciting. You know how stupid you sound? You don't even support these books. You're a nobody. Just a rando with name and numbers. And your picture is Captain Marvel. That's how I know you're a moron. That's how I know you're low IQ. You're absolutely low IQ. When have any of them left it at the door? All of them have. Again, Eric thinks he's the smartest man in the universe. Have fun f f uh, filling out the bankruptcy paperwork in the near future. Yeah, this is the same dumbass that in the same breath said that Eric's going to go bankrupt while saying he's a millionaire. This is that same person that said that. You're not intelligent. You think you're intelligent because you look like an absolute nerd, but you're not intelligent. You are not intelligent and nothing you've said that I've seen has been of any use. It's been worthless gobbledygook drivel coming out of your mouth. Because that's what these people are. They're absolute narcissistic pieces of garbage. They can't let anybody enjoy anything. You can't have fun. You can't have fun unless they say so. Anything you do isn't fun. Anything they do is fun. They try to bash you, pull you down like crabs in a bucket, say you're not doing certain things, saying you're not following certain rules. And yet they sit up here and cry all day long while you're all having fun. They're still sitting up here crying like little women, like little effeminate men, like beta males all day long, every day. They, they, they're they never going to stop. And I'm just going to continue to cover it. And I'm going to continue to monetize these fools. As I always do. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers. Returning subscribers. New viewers. Returning viewers. I, if you do like this video. Hit the like button. Comment below what you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. 
That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.